This is Salamancer, and if you want to see class, just watch Banny. Look at that hat. Watch the rollouts. Everything about Banny it just screams class. This is going to be Quantic versus the Mighty Ducks on Viaduct Pro. This is not your you, this is not your grandfather's Viaduct, ladies and gentlemen. This is the big leagues. And already we're seeing Quantic off to a great start with some good uh, aggression by their soldiers. And wow, a nice cleanup by Sizer and Banny, who have both gotten most of the kills. Clockwork helping finish them off as well. Mighty Ducks just uh, just quacked their last quack there. Moonchild trying to get a kill, and not even he can do it. Mackie died. He's the only one to have done so for Quantic Legacy. They very quickly and very, very convincingly took that point. Uh, just as soon as it was ready to be taken. Tyrone getting really aggressive here, too. This style by Quantic, uh, this is just in-your-face aggressive. They are so far forward. They knew they had the Uber, and they have popped it kind of early there, but uh, they know what they're doing. They, they just want to shove this in Mighty Duck's face and say, guys, you, you can't even get anywhere near the point. Nice kill by Banny on Decimate. Tyrone has also taken out Puff. Uh, so Puff the Magic Demo Man is right now uh, not in this world, apparently. He's, he's having a little bit of trouble. And really nice work by the Quantic team so far. They've held on to the point for almost a minute already. They have just a bit of an uber disadvantage now because they didn't manage to kill... Uh, whoops about that. They didn't manage to kill Thrill with uh, with that uber. It was kind of forced for them. So a good uber from my Mighty Ducks, and they will use that to cap the point. So uh, textbook play there by the Ducks. They, they used the right tactics. They pushed on the clock with their uber advantage, and they got it. Um, the the only thing I've seen so far is that just Quantic, Quantic Legacy, of, of course, this is the team that won last season hands down. It made it look really easy at the LAN tournament. Um, Quantic Legacy is just a wicked awesome team, and they're, they're not going to let this go unpunished for very long. A good air shot there, actually, on Mackie, who is trying to jump in and cause some damage. Actually, Quantic is losing a lot of players here. They've got CB and Tyrone standing on the point right now. They do pop the Uber. Uh, can they get any kills off this, though? It's just a soldier and a medic. Of course, when you've got Tyrone and CB, it's not just a soldier and a medic. Um, but, Doggles taken out, but then there goes Tyrone as well. So actually, right now, Quantic are unable to recapture the point. Having just a bit of trouble there. Banny's got stickies all over the place, but that's kind of what you would expect. Uh, Phobia does go down there. So that's another soldier down. Uh, Doggle is just going to get back in position here. Decimate now killed as well by Mackie. And Mackie looking like he wants to go on a rampage here along with Clockwork. Clockwork finishing off Puff. And now the two scouts here for Quantic are going to try and chase down Thrill. Can he get away from this? Oh, he's got to pop the Uber. Nice chase down there. Who is that scout? That was probably, yep, that was Clockwork. Uh, like Clockwork, rushes in there, forces the medic, knew exactly what he needed to do. They've capped the points, and now they've got a huge uber advantage because of Clockwork's play there. So Quantic Legacy in a very superior position right now. Um, the time is kind of close, but they're going to hold on to this for quite a while. And, oh, Clockwork taken out by Puff there. Moonchild now jumping up, and, uh, well, no, he's got to come back and stop this soldier, Mackie, from bombing in on his medic. Puff just got taken out by Sizer. All these scouts for Quantic are just so crazy. They're all over the place. There goes the Uber. Uh, CB and friends are just trying to stay here on this point as long as possible, make sure that they can hold it for a while. They, you know, the Ducks are putting up a good fight. They really are. And I want to see um, I want to see them recap this point again because they've got the Uber advantage. And even before their Uber is ready, they're, they're pushing onto it. Uh, taking a lot of hits, though, especially from Banny, who just never seems to miss a pipe. I, I, I want to be him. Um, and Banny is now trying to launch some stickies over at the medic as well. Uh, Thrill is down to about 80% uber, 40 health though, and Puff trying to escape this soldier here. He will be able to escape, but it's a minute left on the clock for Quantic in this action-packed invite game. Wow, absolutely awesome. And, of course, I'm casting this game. It's kind of old. It's from Viaduct Week, which was the, the last week before Thanksgiving. Everybody had a holiday. Uh, and so the next games are pretty much Sunday evening, and then everything kind of resumes as normal up until the Christmas season. Um, but the Mighty Ducks here, trying to put up a fight. They should cap the point once again, but they're at about a minute deficit. In fact, a little bit longer than a minute. And they've got an uber disadvantage. They're going to have to play really, really cleverly here. And their DM is just going to have to be impeccable if they want to take out the Quantic team and stop them from recapturing very quickly. Doggles was in a nice ambush position, and actually they forced that Uber just a little bit early there by Phobia and a Scout. Uh, Decimate, though, and Phobia both finished off very quickly by the, Quantic, uh, by the Quantic cleanup crew, and Clockwork just gets finished there, but only about 30 seconds left on the clock here for Quantic Gaming. 
very, very quickly. I think we're going to see them win this round. Moonchild just got taken out. There is an Uber ready to go for the Mighty Ducks, so they are going to push in here, and they're doing a decent job pushing on the clock, getting their tactics, getting their... Uh, just, just making good pushes. It's just that Quantic has a bit of an advantage in time and a bit of an advantage in DM right now. As we've seen time and time again, uh, they've chased down the Mighty Ducks team over and over. They've just gotten better rockets, just a little bit better placement on all their guns. Phobia tried to take out Tyrone, and it did not work. Quantic, uh, well, along with Clockwork, Banny, and Mackie, all got a couple kills there. The, the Mighty Ducks have only managed to take out Mackie. And now Decimate, Phobia are down. It's just Puff and Moonchild. That is going to be the round in favor of Quantic Legacy. Uh, not entirely unexpected. Quantic Legacy is a favorite in this game. But uh, we are going to see the Ducks play really well. Mackie has decided to off-class to Heavy, which is a common thing to do. You, you sacrifice some of the mobility of your soldiers, and you get that anti-aircraft gun. You get that wall of health. Tyrone here being buffed up to 300. We're probably going to see him jump into the enemies pretty darn soon. He's done just that, going straight after the Medic. And there goes Thrill. Phobia and Doggles are down as well. Um, in fact, Mackie, I think, got the first kill of the exchange there. Pretty darn crazy. So we've got Quantic now uh, capturing the point here very quickly once again. Just as soon as it was available, they were standing on it. So once again, mid winning that mid-fight, it's really important in the high-level games. I've just been contacted here. And that was somebody who just wanted to tell me about another 6v6 game that's coming up Monday. Uh, there are, of course, going to be a lot of them coming up Monday, but we do see a sniper right now for the Mighty Ducks. That is Moonchild. Moonchild known for uh, just some crazy sniper sprees that he's had, although it's going to be tough on a map like uh, Pro Viaduct. But he does take out CB! That looked like a drop, I think. Uh, if nobody spotted out Moonchild, of course, that's it's, it's a common thing that I like to say, that it's, it's just not the medic's fault. Um... If he if he gets taken out by a sniper and nobody has really uh, spotted that sniper for him, if you don't know he's there, what are you going to do about it? So uh, not really CB's fault to get taken out and to drop that, but uh, Quantic lose the point because of it. And really, Sizer, with that kill on Thrill there, just possibly saved the round uh, for Quantic because they will be able to get back in here and probably cap the point relatively quickly. They're going to have an uber advantage. Mackie going sniper, and Mackie is a good sniper. Uh, normally you don't see soldiers off-classing as much to Sniper because they like to leave that for the scouts, but when you've got somebody like Mackie, you, you just you let him do what he wants, pretty much. <laughs> now, I do think that uh, it's actually Tyrone making most of the calls. Tyrone and um, it's either Banny or Mackie making calls. Mackie does take out Moonchild there, just barely spotted a part of his body to take it out. And now, uh, well, Quantic's still not capping the point yet. I thought they would be a little bit faster on this, but so far they're worried about getting some frags, making sure they don't get assaulted from multiple angles. But they really, yeah, they need to start capping this point, and they're doing that just now. That is going to be Tyrone standing there on the point, helping to recapture it for the Quantic Legacy team. Oh, wow, good st uh, sticky bombs coming in there by Banny, but he has been g taking a lot of damage. Clockwork now coming in and trying to... Uh, trying to distract the Ducks team, and Decimate, Doggles, and Puff all get taken down there. Sizer, Tyrone, and Sizer again, getting a lot of good kills. But Banny is down. So, well, that's about the only kill they got. The Ducks are just having difficulty pushing out of their choke points right now. And really, I'd like to see them not walk through this one, because this could be really dangerous. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're already spotted out. They're already taking a lot of spam. Moonchild on the sniper, but he's getting pressured by a scout. Nobody even is, like, turning around to deal with this right now, so Moonchild took way too much damage. It's just, it's wasting a lot of time off the clock. There goes the Uber right now, actually, for our red team. And it has just faded away, but they did force the pop very quickly. Moonchild got a kill on Clockwork. Nicely done. <clears throat> and CB trying to deal with Decimate, but Decimate does finish him off. It's a good attempt by CB, who is running the overdose. Uh, so, a, a man after my own heart. <laughs> uh, he, he does apparently like the speed boost out of that that you know, it helps you get away just a little bit faster makes it harder for those scouts to catch up with you um, and I wonder if CB has ever used the crossbow in a match he probably has but this is one of those maps where the crossbow is just not going to be useful you don't have the sight lines on your team most of the time I've never and I said this the last time I cast a viaduct game I have never seen on viaduct a crossbow be useful just haven't seen it so uh Gonna need those needles to defend himself. I think he realized that. The Mighty Ducks hold the point right now, but they've got about a 30-second discrepancy between their opponents. And Quantic is gonna push back in relatively soon. They're sending in Mackie, the roaming soldier, right now. Looks like he is using the gunboat. He's taking about 20 damage per uh, per rocket jump, and he forces the pop from Thrill, who was down to about 10 health there. Banny! 
taken out in midair by Moonchild, so that guy, uh, the Child of the Moon, is pretty darn good at sniping. I think I've made that joke before. Um, but you know what? If you haven't seen this channel before, well, welcome. This is, of course, Salamancer. Hit the follow button if you like it, or subscribe, or whatever it is. Moonchild on a spree right now. Took out Clockwork as well. Clockwork's probably not too happy about this, but uh, Quantic, hmm, they are at a time disadvantage for a little while right now. They did pop the Uber. They're trying to get into the point, and they are pushing. It sounds like they're pushing, yeah. Really, really far forward here, trying to get rid of... Oh, CB! Taken out by Moonchild um, that time around. Yeah, I think... I think CB was actually okay with... Uh, you're never okay with dying. But at that point, he was just trying to keep the rest of his team being aggressive and pushing onto the point. So he could leave somebody back there to cap it while the rest of his team chased down the Mighty Ducks and got just a couple of frags, kept them away from the point. So, um, so it worked for them. Even though CB did die and they're going to have an uber disadvantage. Ooh, sounds like a headshot there from Mackie. He didn't quite kill Doggles, but he did force that pop a bit early. And he's now going to drop back, hopefully get away from this soldier who's going to chase him down. And yes, he does. Banny, though, got popped up in the air by Doggles, finished off. And Mighty Ducks may actually win this round. They are close. It is a tight, tight round right now. Uh, there is a slight uber advantage for CB, but it it may not. Oh, Mackie gets the kill on Thrill. That is going to be huge. Puff is setting up a couple sticky traps here, which, oh, got to watch out for that. But he gets taken out by Mackie. So uh, didn't manage to get the kill that he wanted. Sizer and CB are both down as well right now, and that's going to be tough for Quantic to really push onto the point, as Moonchild is still here, still trying to cover it. Um, now, Tyrone, I think, knows he's there. He's trying to stay behind cover. And, oh, Moonchild, attempting to stop the capture by killing Tyrone, he ended up not noticing that Mackie was there to take him out. So, uh, now it's up to Quantic to defend for the next 30 seconds. Can they do it? Mackie staying far back on his, uh, on his battlements here. And I, I, I think that Quantic may be able to win this one as well. It's only about 15 seconds left. Uh, Mighty Ducks just have to push in very quickly. I, I'm imagining that they're running the crits. Yes, they are, because they might actually be able to get it up there, but it's going to be so close. They've got to get someone on that point practically now if they don't... If they even want it to go to overtime, which... Okay, there goes the crit stickies, but not enough kills right now. Doggles and Phobia are down, but they didn't get on the point fast enough. So the Mighty Ducks, so close to winning that round. This is a much much closer game than the score currently gives credit for. Uh, Quantic versus the Ducks. The Qu Quantic is winning. They are winning, no doubt about it, and uh, especially the rollout to mid, it, they just look superior. But the Ducks are playing a stellar game right now uh, against this team. And so let's see. Phobia taken down first. There goes Thrill as well, who is just caught out of position by the crazy scout work. Um, and in fact, Tyrone ended up finishing him off, so he got that rocket. Uh, it may not have even been this guy. It's not I think about it. <laughs> uh, things happen fast, and sometimes I can't tell who gets what kill until I look at the kill feed. It's just how it is. Uh, Moonchild now dropping back here. He is trying to get back to his medic. CB was finished off, so a slight uber advantage for Thrill, and he's going to uh, he's going to augment that advantage by running the crits. Yes, he is running the crits right now. Uh, Moonchild with another kill there on Clockwork. Clockwork's got to just be scratching his head right now. Like, come on, man. I'm a scout. How, how is this happening to me? Uh, and he oh, just took out Tyrone as well. He's on another spree. Moonchild picking up the team on his back right now, helping them, uh, helping carry them basically to cap the middle point and hold on to it. Uh, only about 20, 23 seconds off the clock there for Quantic after that big that big win at the middle point. Uh, they, they're going to manage to hold on to it for longer than Quantic now. Clockwork was just kind of hiding from the <laughs> hiding from the sniper. He knows to keep his head down now. It's uh, oh, there goes the crits. Tyrone finished off there by decimate. Actually, the crits was flashed to that scout briefly just to finish him off. And Moonchild is still looking for kills here. He's spotted his own soldier walking back up, but hasn't seen anything else yet. Decimate just taken down by Mackie. Uh, but CB is getting finished off here by Phobia. That is what you want to see your roaming soldier do. Um, trade a soldier for a medic. Pretty much everybody will take that any day. Unless, you know, it's on your last point and all you have is a soldier and they have like five players, then you're kind of screwed anyway. But Quantic is going to get back on the point finally here, but they're down by about 30 seconds. That's not a huge deal. They have, of course, come back from that uh, just last round. In fact, they did. But let's see what happens right now. Quantic is down by one man. That is Sizer. And I got to say, the scout work for Quantic is superb. So missing your scouts is actually a pretty big deal. Uh, Tyrone got taken down there by Phobia now, and so Quantic's going to have to jump back 
And mm, Banny wants to get this kill here, but he's finished off really quickly by Puff, the uh, the crits critical demo man. Mm, going for more kills, but could not finish anybody else off. Banny's dead. That's a lot of DPS off the field for Quantic. But they are going to have their Uber up just about the same time. Thrill here, trying to build it as quickly as possible. Keep his players healed up so that uh, they can be ready for the inevitable push from Quantic Gaming. And Clockwork is just sneaking through the house right now, trying to take some high ground. There is no off-classing at the moment for our Quantic team. They will be pushing with the regular stock classes, and they're pushing into a sniper. So they, they need to find a way to shut that sniper down somehow, whether that's through spam or through an Uber. It's up to uh, up to them, and it looks like it's going to be through the Uber. Doggles and Phobia are down right now. Moonchild has run all the way back to spawns just so he doesn't die. Looking like he wanted to get a little bit of a shot there on whoever was uh, hanging out at their ridge, but that is not going to happen anymore. And now the Ducks need to find a way to cap that point back. They've got a minute advantage now over Quantic. If they're going to win a round, uh, this is going to be it. If they're going to get back in this game and win the game, they need to start with <laughs> start with baby steps, win a round. Thrill got taken out there very quickly by Banny, um, and now Puff is dead as well. Oh, Doggles. Well, okay. So what happened right there was basically one at a time, everybody from the Mighty Ducks jumped in trying to get, like, one kill. And as a result, CB died. That's good for them, but they lost a lot of players, and as a result, lost a lot of time. Quantic has held it for 30 seconds here, and they're going to get a nice long time here. But look at the Uber advantage. 30% now for Thrill, and the Mighty Ducks have been playing well. They will push forward as soon as they have that Uber, and in fact are pushing forward even before they have it. They've got to make sure they preserve that Uber because they don't want to lose it. But, oh, CB and Tyrone both caught out of position by Moonchild. Now Phobia using the Equalizer to try and chase down Mackie. Mackie with three health left. Survived that encounter just barely, and will probably go grab a health kit very soon. But uh, Moonchild back on the scout now. He's not going to be playing Sniper for the moment. It's pr uh, probably a good decision here at this point, as Mackie has been catching him unawares quite a lot. Moonchild looking like he's going to start uh, poking these guys. There goes a Kritzkrieg right away, and it has taken out CB and Banny on this side. That's going to be really huge for the Mighty Ducks. Uh, they may quack their way to victory on this one. Quantic uh, looking a little bit scared right now. They may get a round taken off of them here, and the Mighty Ducks are going to start seeing some good things happen here. They are, they, they look like they're at danger of losing Doggles, which uh, isn't going to be a huge deal, but they do need to get that heals on, and they have gotten them on now. Doggles getting a little bit of a buff here. Quantic are probably going to recapture the point here. They've got a good amount of positioning advantage right now. The, the, the jumps, the aggression, were just uh, perfectly well executed. And Quantic is uh, driving the Mighty Ducks team back through their spawn. Mackie kind of staring, seeing what he can see through the scope. He is going to be maximum charge, so it's going to be 150 damage at least. Uh, Puff ends up taking out Banny, though, with that Gritchkui once again. And Mackie finishes off Phobia, going for the headshot on the Medic now. Can he find it? And it doesn't even matter because it's just Mackie and CB left to stop this. That is going to be a round in favor of the Mighty Ducks. 1-2 to two against Quantic Legacy. And the, uh, the favorite to win this game... Quantic Legacy may, in fact, get uh, get, get a little bit of a shock here if the Mighty Ducks can win this round as well and bring it to a tie. We'll have to see. But Puff is starting to lay some stickies down right now, uh, blindly laying those down. It is going to pave the way for his team to get a little aggressive, but a soldier jumping right in, and then Mackie tries to jump in to finish him off. Mackie actually taken down, and so is Sizer, but they've gotten a couple of key kills here as well. Phobia and Moonchild both killed. This is the first time we've actually seen the Mighty Ducks win a mid-fight, though. They are going to get the first capture on the point, and they're driving Quanic back through their spawn now. Decimate and Thrill both killed by Banny, though, and Banny is just not done yet, spamming over the point. Um, Phobia calling it GG. I'm not sure why he would do that just yet. Oh, nice kill by Tyrone, though, on Phobia. And now with Puff dead, it's just Moonchild. Can he get the shot off on a CB? He looks for it! But now he's going to get chased down by this scout. Um, gets away, actually, using this SMG. And, oh, nice heals by the medic. So he'll, he'll stay alive. So will that pocket soldier with his nice buff there. But, uh, oh, Mackie on the spy. This will be quite a cute little thing. He's actually all the way back at the enemy spawn right now, and he's just going to follow them through the doorway. He's uh, he's spotted the medic. That is probably what he's going to go for. Got the medic! Nice stab by Mackie. This guy 
What a crazy player. And here comes the Uber all the way back towards spawn. Oh, Phobia ran into his spawn, and the door didn't close fast enough. Tyrone got the rocket kill. Uh, doesn't matter too much. He will spawn pretty shortly anyway, but it's just going to delay a recapture by the Mighty Ducks that much longer. Quantic is doing crazy amounts of work right now. And... What can the Mighty Ducks do against this? Uh, it says overtime on my screen, and I don't know why it says that, but uh, who knows? It's it's Team Fortress 2. And the Ducks here are just trying to build up their Uber back at spawn. They don't even know which way to push the moment. Where is Mackie? He is actually still alive. Banny is laying down some stickies right now. Uh, oh, no, Mackie has changed back to Soldier. Okay, so he's he's wanted to go back and be a Soldier again. Um, probably a good idea. Once you, once you play the Spy card once, everybody starts looking for it. Doggles finished off there by Clockwork. Not even sure what he was doing out there. He was by himself. Just kind of stood there and took it. Uh, and now Quanic, with about a minute of lead on the point, are looking pretty good. Let's see if I can reload my scheme. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Uh, Quanic, Banny's got a really nice position up here on the on the lid. <laughs> that little lip above the uh, above the house, the, the bridge, I guess we could call it. And as soon as it looked like the enemies were actually going to get through the chokes, he just dropped right on back, got away from that. Mackie did take now by Decimate, but does it matter? Um, I think, yeah, with the 100% Uber for CB, he's just holding onto it right now until the point is threatened. Once the point is threatened, he'll pop it for about uh, eight additional seconds of time there. Um, that's, that's most likely what's going to happen anyway. He may actually pop it. Yeah, he's popped it now because here the point is threatened. His players are threatened. He doesn't want to lose players here. And there you go. Tyrone gets a kill on Doggles. Let's go on Tyrone Cam. I haven't been on that enough. Going to go for the kill on Puff now as well. And he's going to get that with a little bit of help from uh, Banny there. Good sticky bomb detonation. But, yeah, Tyrone is uh, he's, he's a beast. He's a beast. But then all these players are. I could not hold a candle to any one of them. And there is that laugh once again. I don't even know how to... Is he? Does he have, like, the schadenfreude taunt and he's just taunt sliding with it? I don't know. I don't know how to make him laugh like that every time. Um, oh, Thrill immediately taken down by Mackie. Good jump by him. And Quanic in such a great position to win this round. They are probably going to take it to halftime very quickly. Uh, it's just Doggles and Moonchild left. Doggles going for a kill, but that scout rode the rocket to give him a meat shot straight in the face. Banny finished him off. Or no, that was... Uh, Actually, Clockwork, he, I think Doggles killed himself. CB running back with the Overdose, and he's got such a high Uber Charge percentage. Look at how fast those medic legs are carrying him now. It is now halftime, 1-3. to three. Mighty Ducks looking good, but uh, we'll see what happens. So going into the second half, what I want to see out of Quantic is um, pretty much just shutting down Moonchild and shutting down... I mean, they've already been doing a good job of, I think, shutting down Puff quite a lot. Their scouts are getting all over that. It's really just the sniper, <clears throat> more than anything, that has kept uh, kept the Mighty Ducks in the game. Clockwork, the first man to get taken out in the half. And now Doggles is down. Yeah, so it looks as if Quantic Gaming, Quantic Legacy, are going to cap that point. They have lost Banny now, but Phobia down in exchange... Um, there goes Mackie. Wow, okay, this is kind of crazy. CB called the charge at about 80%, and that's going to make his enemy think that maybe he's got a crits. They're going to be very careful about this. But actually, the crits on the other team, Thrill had a crits there, and oh, that was so close to hitting the scout. But uh, Sizer is going to be A-OK. -okay. And now Tyrone taking a high ground, uh, a good perch there, but he actually took a direct rocket, so going to be got to be careful. Wow, Clockwork and Sizer both rushing in to take out Puff, so very quickly they're doing their job of uh, finding that lone demo man and just saying, yep, let's both go take him out. That's exactly what they did. Banny is out of position, and it was not going to survive that. Uh, 20 seconds off the clock right now for Quantic, and they're actually getting pressured by Phobia. Oh, man. So very quickly, the Mighty Ducks should be able to recap that point. They've just lost Phobia to uh, Clockwork, and he is still taking people out. I'm going to drop back now, but that uh, Crits Creek is still, still up for Thrill. So we are still going to see uh, a nice crits. The thing is, Quantic knows this. Mackie is actually on the spy once again because it worked for him last half, so why not? He will cloak up behind the house, and uh, he's just got to be careful that he doesn't take a lot of spam here. He's walking up right next to the scouts. That was so incredibly close. And, oh, got to sneak around the... the Oh, he's going to decloak right here. Somebody's going to spot him. Yep, sorry, Mackie. Could not find the right spot to go. The crits has popped there, and... Uh, haven't even got any kills because there's just nobody to kill. Most of the Quantic Gaming team, Quantic Legacy team, my bad, was already dead by the time that crits was finished off. So uh, they did keep CB left alive, but the Ubers are going to be just about even here. Is CB running? He's probably running regular Uber. Yeah, he's been running it the whole time. 
and Quantic Gaming are looking solid right now, although they are losing just a bit in the time battle to the Mighty Ducks. They will try to push in Zoon Moonchild on the Sniper, so he could keep his team in the game. Mighty Ducks looking like they really want it right now. They want to dethrone our uh, our current champs, uh, the Quantic Gaming team. Quantic, I keep saying that. Quantic Legacy team. Mighty Ducks, though, have lost three players, and they do have Thrill still up, probably still on the crits Let, right now. Let's find him. Yes, he is. 95%, but CB's got 100% Uber, and so that's pretty much going to crazy counter it. Clockwork in their spawn area finds Moonchild, takes him out, grabs that health kit, and is back up to 125 health. So, wow. Um, that is exactly what they need to do. They shut down the sniper of Moonchild, and uh, it's going to keep them alive for a nice long time, as well as their Uber, actually. Decimate and Doggles both killed right there. Uh, it's just Puff and, oh, Thrill and uh, Moonchild left alive. Moonchild spawned there just in time to get the very tail end of that crits and finish off Sizer. So, uh, you yeah, know, those critical scattergun shots are nothing to be uh, nothing to be laughed at, although apparently everybody's laughing at them on, uh, <laughs> on the Mighty Ducks right now. But we're going to have the Ducks rushing up to the point fairly soon. They are going to have to capture it because right now they're, they're actually losing on time. Quanic holds on to the point here with a minute and 20 left to go, and we're slowly seeing the Mighty Ducks' chances of winning slip away here if they can't cap that point. There's stickies all over it, although good job by Decimate to spot those, but he is now finished off by Clockwork, no less. Uh, and Mackey, oh, looking for shots through the house right now. He's in a, a unique little sniper location here, but he's going to get pressured. Moonchild took him out very quickly there, and Quanic loses the point. Um, it looks like the Uber is popped for CB. The crits was popped a little bit earlier there for Thrill, but he's taken down very quickly. Of course, that Uber just completely negates all the crits creek damage. Um, I, Thrill needs to change back to the regular Uber. It's it's he, They just know he's on it now. Um, and very quickly, Quantic recaptures. Thrill is still in the crits creek. This is... Uh, I mean, he's going to have it faster than CB again because CB died, but it's 60 seconds left. There's only time for one or two more pushes. Clockwork in on top of Thrill, and he takes him down. Once again, Clockwork in the spawn area, just buying as much time as possible for the Quantic team. And uh, when you can get in their spawn area and deal that much damage, it's more or less saying, guys, <laughs> this game is over, um, which I would have to agree with. I, I do tend to call things early, I know. But Quantic is looking great right now. They're going to have to deal with Moonchild, and he's going for the kill on Banny, but uh, didn't get enough damage there. Going for... Oh, there you go. Takes out Banny, so now no more sticky traps. He is going to try and help his team beat back the uh, Medic-Soldier combo there, but with Sizer hanging around behind and the Mighty Ducks losing way too many players, that's that's going to be Quantic stopping that capture for a long time. Sizer coming in now behind the uh, demo. Takes out Puff. And there's a sniper up here as well that he wants to go after, although he's got to be careful about this. And having to deal with a scout. Nope, Doggles and Decimate both finish Sizer off. But um, the key here is that Quantic has a lot of time to work with. 12 seconds left. Once they recapture it, that's practically going to be it. Mackie's going to sneak around behind as a spy once again. And they don't have a lot to risk right now. Oh, takes out Moonchild. Perfect play by Mackie. And then drops on top. Goes for the kill on the Medic as well. Can he get it? Going to try and revolver him to death. No, he can't. But Quantic recaptures the point here. There's only two players left alive for the Mighty Ducks, so this is going to be just about it. Uh, by the time they respawn and get to the point, that is too late. So that is GG in favor of Quantic Gaming. 4-1 to one for Quantic. The Mighty Ducks did manage to take a round off of Quantic Legacy, which was pretty darn good in my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. This is kind of an old game, but we are going to have some new ones coming up very soon. Do tune in and subscribe to youtube.com slash fatmop, F-A-T-M-O-P, if you want to see tons more competitive TF2 content. I'm signing out.